In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I have my dear brother here, he's from Iraq and he lived here many years in Australia. And, and sadly, he just lost the faith and he do not believe that Jesus is coming. But I am reading that from the book of God. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. All right. And this is I from... Don't believe of the book of God. He, he don't believe in the book of God. And actually he confessed that he lost his faith. Yeah. But what's happening those days, God, Jesus is coming soon. And because he's coming soon, he's bringing all his sons back, the prodigal sons. The ones who went away for a while, he's calling them back. So for that here, um, this is from the book of Revelation and the last chapter of the book of God, the last chapter, chapter 22 of the book of Revelation. And this is what he's saying. Ana Yesua, arsalt malaki l'ashhad lakum bhazil umur an al-kanais. Ana asl wa zuriyat Dawood, kawkab al-subh al-munir. الروح والعروس يقولان تعال وكل من يسمع فليقل تعال ومن يعطش فليأتي ومن يرد فليأخذ ماء حياء مجانا لأني أشهد لكل من يسمع أقوال هذه النبوة الكتاب إن كان أحد يزيد على هذه يزيد عليه الضربات المكتوبة في هذا الكتاب وإن كان أحد يحذف من أقوال الكتاب هذه النبوة يحذف الله نصيبه من سفر الحياة ومن المدينة المقدسة ومكتوب في هذا الكتاب وآخر آية بتتقال يقول الشاهد بهذا نعم أنا آتي سريعا أمين تعالى أيها الرب يسوع نعمة ربنا يسوع المسيح مع جميعكم أمين يسوع بقاله ألفين سنة وشوية ما جاش لكن جنه بوا هو بيدي فرصة لأولاده بس هو قال أنا أتي سريعا واللي بيسمع يقول آمين I'm now I'm gonna say to the people um, صديقنا هنا هو كان مؤمن بحب يسوع وبعدين فقد إيمانه وعمر 18 سنة بس يسوع يا لكن يسوع بيحد بيلم ولاده عشان هو جاي سريعا أخونا هنا بيقول إن يسوع مش جاي وزي ما أنا قريت الآيات بالعربي هقراها بالإنجليزي للناس اللي هم ما يعرفوش إنه جيزس the last part of the book of revelation is saying that he is coming and he is coming soon so if you want to believe him you do if you don't you don't all testimony and you testimony I've read it all testimony and you testimony and 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 that's not about reading it's about ready because the king of glory is coming I didn't believe it king of glory is coming you believe him you don't believe him he will come you believe that the rain is coming you don't believe the rain will come it's not gonna really change you are the one who's losing if you come and you are unprepared that's your loss so we're reading My that loss. from yeah it's your loss because he is calling you home jesus today is about the business can you please come and, and get me that one okay. revelation last chapter please I'll leave jesus for you. he's calling you know is the children uh, who left home um, home the prodigal son went away and did all what they need in life. And he want us to experience other things. God want us to experience other things because when you experience other things, we come to the father and say, you know what, there is no one like you. I like your home. I like your food. I like their servant. I love when I be with you. And if you do that, my brother and sister, Jesus, I mean, the father instantly ran and he hugged the son who wanted to come back to him. Hug him. And he didn't really see the smell, the smell yucky. He was living and eating with the swine, with the, with the pigs. But the father didn't bother the smell and didn't bother the bad life that he lost it and the money he lost. He welcomed him home and say, come son. He ran to him. He gave him a ring authority back to him yeah. you come back to jesus you have all your authority all your power back again he give him the robe of righteousness and a make a feast for him and then the other brother who was outside which represent all the christian who are in our churches i don't care if they smile that means they're happy 
<laughs> if they yeah. mock me, that's their problem. <laughs> I don't care if they listen. There is heaven and earth who witness on my preaching. Yeah, okay. And they're going to be judged the day when you oh, you mock that, that preacher. I'm going. Go, my brother. Bye -bye. But what here is, the Lord is welcoming back all the children that they lost their way. And he give them authority. The one who didn't enter are those ones who are like this, the older son. He was away and he was upset that the brother was received that way. He didn't see that his brother was dead. So today there is many children around the world that God is calling. They were dead. They lost their faith. And Jesus is calling them back home. Come home. You will receive the same authority and the same honor and a big party. We will have a big party for the ones who are coming back. Come back. Come back, son. Come back, daughter. You will not find like God Almighty. We're talking today about uh, uh, England and how England and Wales lost their faith. This is something very shameful. And they not only lost their faith, but they are speaking that the Western world is de de-Christianized. The lady was telling the news, she said, what was wrong with Jesus? He's better than any other one. There is, of course, things in every religion because she sees us as religion. But Jesus is eternal life. He's God the creator, God the sustainer, and God who's going to judge you and judge the whole world. So you not play games with him. And, and, and the reason was uh, England... An imp empire, England in, uh, in means United Kingdom. Kingdom united together. This is a big name for it's a small island sitting and, and in the sea, not even recognized, maybe like the size of New Zealand, more or less, I don't know. So for, to, to, to be United Kingdom and rule around the world, it was given that title to her. It's not like United States, many states together united. United Kingdom is kingdom around the world. They are united under the authority of this little uh, uh, island. And she was ruling, the queen was ruling over all that part of the world and ruling over the Church of England. So we heard in the news, you know, they start to belittle the Christian, the, the, the Christian faith and then the Church of England and no more time they already renounced the faith. They do not know that they were giving that kingdom to them for one reason, that the England was sending missionary around the world. Wherever England were going, they were opening schools, teaching, and people preaching the gospel, the good news of the salvation of men. That's why England was ruling over all this period of time, over all those nations. But now they renounce god they, they renounce christ and then the next few day or two they just talking about how it's very very humiliated is england now we're gonna see very quickly the news talking about how england and the people who follow her to europe and i talking here to to the christian or to the authority in australia in new zealand in canada all the, the, the Commonwealth nations, don't be fool. The power that you have as this nation for wealth and freedom is the gospel of Jesus Christ. No one can give you freedom but Christ. He set the captives free and no one else. And I'm not here talking about being um, um, freedom like to do sex and do immoral things. I'm talking about the freedom of the demonic power and freedom of sin is only given through the Lord Jesus and Jesus alone. So if you compare, you know, the nations who are under the cover of the Quran, let's say, and the other one who are under Buddha, and you see the nations who are under the gospel, way different. I lived and I was born in a nation under the Quran for many years. And these people with their nation and whatever, and they have the riches of the world, Middle East is the rich part of the world. And back in, in time and in the future, that will be the land of God. It's going to be the new Jerusalem. 
the new Jerusalem will be into that area. It's not going to be in Canada or America or in Australia, I'm sorry, or even in England who denounce the face. It's going to be in the Middle East and particularly is from the, the, the rivers of Euphrates until the Nile River, including those main nations, Iraq, Syria, Egypt, Israel. This is the new Jerusalem. That's the land of God. You like it or you don't, it doesn't matter. You believe in it or not, just read your Bible. This is the new Jerusalem coming. So those nations, even though they have the wealth of the world, of the past, and in the present, they are really running in a very poor situation because the base of the nation is not the Bible. Back in time, few, 23 years ago, I was in New Zealand, and a Jewish girl, she said to me, Arabs come and make everything well dry and make it like the Sahara desert. And I was very, very pushed by that word. But then I look back and I said she was right. Israel make everything green. That was because the base of what of you believe, the, you believe through the, re, the reflection of whatever religion, the religion are all man made and are full. But if you look back to the things that Christ is giving, freedom and forgiveness of sin and eternal life, no one can promise you eternal life except him because he is eternal life. He died for you so you don't perish. There is no other way that you can go eternally live with God in peace except Jesus. So here is England denying the faith and they're not only doing this in Wales, and, and we knew that this king is not going to really probably rule because he is not according to God's agenda. He opened the wall and the door for many of the Muslim world to invade. Means like very soon England will be a Muslim nation. Congratulations England and Wales. Congratulations. But they're not to say about the Western world. Because we here in Australia, we want to be called again the South Land of the Holy Spirit. None of us wanted to renounce the faith and none of us wanted to be under those falling religion who, who cannot save themselves. Well, I want you to call me, call me and let me know who are those religion and the leaders of those nations. Are they alive and alive forever? If they're not alive, why you follow them? Even in the Quran, he said that Jesus will be the judge of the whole world. So if he will be the judge, why following someone else? Jesus is alive and he's coming back. So brother and sister here, I'm just giving you a warning to the, to the people who rule here over Australia. The rulers or the people who do um, orders and make uh, rules into this nation, Australia, New Zealand and Canada. If the Commonwealth lacks their brightness and their smartness to be a nation under God's authority and church of England, where Christ, through a woman, for 70 years, was ruling over that piece of the world. And we included, by denouncing their faith, they will lose everything with it. And they were never, as they were trying to, to, to pretend that they are the throne of, of David. They are not. They were never. The ordination of the queen was under Saduk, the, 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 the priest, and Nathan the prophet. This is not the anointing of David. Anointed of David was under Samuel, the prophet. So read the word and you see that that kingdom was never, you know, but it was protecting and they failed. As the Jewish failed their cause of being the, the nation one in the world, as the Christian failed to be the nation who brings people to Christ. Here is England losing and they're gonna lose even more. The time will come that this unity and people who follow this nation will gonna cry and say to the king, they will say to the, 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 the stones, the, fall up, the, the mountains to fall upon us and save us from the one who's sitting on the throne. They're gonna look at Jesus, they de-christianize themselves, but just forbid you saying that you de de christianize the West. The West. Just stay for where you are, you're just an unknown island in the middle of Europe, you're no one. And you're returning to be no one because you failed your task of pre 
really bringing the cross and Christ's salvation to the whole world. So here is the thing. The God is coming to pick his children who are lost around the world. And he's going to pick them one by one. The prodigal one, the one who have been far, the one who had been for many years away, he'll pick them again and bring them to his kingdom. And I pray that the leadership of Australia will not really follow like uh, without thinking. We are the south land of the Holy Spirit. And if I declare that here, Australia is the south land as the people, the settler declare it. South land of the Holy Spirit. To my last breath, I will declare that. And otherwise, do whatever you want. Uh, uh, England, you are detached from us. And we really don't want a king who is so ignorant. He do not understand. Western, we go for the Muslim nations and they understand, they get the Bible and read it. Because every prophecy said about every nation is in the Bible. It's not in the Quran and it's not in any other book. The prophecy is said very clear about every nation, the fate of every nation, of Iraq, of Iran, of Egypt, and name it, of Palestine, of Israel, all of them. So brother and sister, I encourage you here to understand this, that we are not going to be de-Christianized. And I pray that Australia and New Zealand and Canada will be clever enough not to follow that craziness of England. And England wanted to sink into the ocean or into the, the sea, let her think, they all have an ocean. So for the people Arabic, I'm just saying here, بحكي بالعربي للناس اللي ما بيعرفوش انجليزي. إن إنجلترا نكرت الإيمان هي وويلز مش بس أنكروا الإيمان مش عايزين بيكونوا بيتبعوا المسيحية أني مور وبيقولوا على الغرب كله لما هم بيحطوا الغرب بيحطونا معاهم فأنا بقول لهم ما يكونش عندك أي أي سلطان أو قدرة أنك أنت تخلي الغرب كله يترك الإيمان المسيحي لأن الإنجيل هو سبب النجاح بتاع البلاد دي هي كل البلاد اللي ليها أساس غير الإنجيل ما عندهاش نجاح ولا غنى ولا ولا سحرة معاهم المال بتاع العالم كله الميدل الشرق الأوسط مع كل المال مع البترول بتاع العالم كله وهم الأمم اللي هيجي منها الأرض المقدسة أورشليم السمائية ومع ذلك هم كانوا ما زالوا وهيكونوا الأمم جهات من الشرق الأوسط الأمم الغنية دي لكن أساسهم ما كانش الإيمان المسيحي ولا الكتاب المقدس علشان كده ما لهمش إيمان ما لهمش إيمة وهيجي الوقت اللي فيه ملك الملوك هيجي الإله العظيم هيجي الخالق اللي خلقك وبتنفس فيك واللي هيدينك الله الأبدي الأزلي هيجي تاني عشان يملك على الأرض ألف سنة ويعمل أورشليم السمائية أورشليم السمائية حدودها من نهر الفرات لغاية النيل معناتها إنه هيكون في العراق وسوريا ومصر وإسرائيل عدهم تاني العراق وسوريا ومصر وإسرائيل و... و... وطبعا النيل كله ممكن السودان والمنطقة دي كل المنطقة دي هي حدود أرض الله اللي هتيجي تاني والله عمل كل التحركات دي عشان منفعتك أنا النهاردة ما كنتش عايز أوعز على الكلام ده كان في فكرة تانية عندي عايز أوعز على أمانة الله أمانة الله الله أمين I really didn't want to preach about this I want to preach about the faithfulness of God but they turned my message today. But they maybe they need that message, the Western world to hear. And I say all Australia, and New Zealand, and Canada. إحنا ما لناش دعوة بالقرار بتاع England and Wales, بتاع إنجلترا. إنجلترا اسمها United Nations. الأمم المتحدة. اسمها United. اسمها إيه? United Kingdom. المملكة المتحدة. يعني ممالك متحدة في حتة الجزيرة الصغيرة دي القوة بتاعت انجلترا انها كانت لبشر بالانجيل وخسارة بتاعتها انها انكرت الانجيل ما هياش امم وما هياش متحدة ولا اي حاجة امريكا هي الامم يونايتد ستيتس يعني ولايات كتير متحدة لانها حتة كبيرة انما انجلترا دي جاست نقطة واحدة في المحيط نقطة واحدة في البحر حتى مش محيط ايلاند صغيرة بتسود على كل الممالك دي المملكة المتحدة الاسم دوت هي فقدته بفقدها 
للكتاب المقدس كبيز ليها والنهاردة أنا بكلم المسؤولين في أستراليا وبكلم المسؤولين في نيوزيلاند وكندا إنك أنت ما تحطش نفسك زيهم وتنكر الإنجيل الإنجيل هو أساس الغنى والحرية والسلام اللي موجود في البلاد جهية وإذا كنت عايز تتبعها الكتاب المقدس بيقول إن إحنا هنا هو الناس اللي إجوا في أول ما أسسوا أستراليا قالوا إن دي هي الأرض ساوس بتاعة الجنوب بتاعة الروح القدس أرض الروح القدس بتاعة الجنوب فما إحنا ننكر إيماننا ونسيب ونخ... إيه إلا أحسن هل القرآن أفضل ولا بودا ولا مين اللي هم أموات والقبور بتاعتهم عندنا يسوع المخلص الخالق اللي خلقك وهيدينك واللي بينفذ فيك الآن الله الإله الأمين الوحيد زي ما احنا قرينا في الكلمات ان يسوع جاي سريعا وما حدش يقدر قرينا الكلام دوت في سفر الرؤية في آخر حتة في الكتاب المقدس النهاردة انا بدعو الناس اللي هي في الغرب انها تفتح عينيها وتتذكر ان امريكا كمان بالرغم انها مش ولاية تابعة لانجلترا بس يبقى عندها الفكر دوت ان ده غباء عمله انجلترا غباء عمله الملك and he not gonna be a king anymore he dethroned himself into the beginning of his kingdom he dethroned himself and I pray that the western world understand that we are not gonna follow England into her rubbishness of thinking father I pray in the name of Jesus that you protect your nation Australia You protect your nation of New Zealand. You protect your nation of Canada and America and all the nation that your name is raised about uh, and the Bible is based. They're not going to follow the lead of England and the Wales because they disown themselves and they put themselves into very deep hell. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that our nation in Australia will be protected and will be continue to be the Southland of the Holy Spirit. Thank you.